<laughs> B boys and girls makes it stand up. Let's go. What do we got? <laughs> for the baby papa. Let's go. B boys and girls makes it stand up. Let's go. What do we got? <laughs> for the baby papa. Let's go. Parmesan. Chicken parmesan. Parmesan. Oh, Parmesan looks stringy, papa. We got the oh. chile verde with the soap and beans with cheese. Ooh. Chuletas with arroz. Oh, oh papa. Yeah. Oh, chile relleno, papi. Look. Oh, oh, let's see the cheese. Arroz, let's see the cheese. Let's see the cheese. Oh, papa. Oh, papa. Oh, papa. Oh, papa. <laughs> That brother's starving. Yes, sir, brother. There's no greater flex than when a man's at work and he open up that container. When you go to work, you open up that container and that smell fills that room up and then guys start to come up to you to see what you got, you know you got a good woman. These are the things that make men feel valued and appreciated. Container. When you go to Call hello, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Just give it all praise to the most high name of his only begotten son. In the name of the Holy Spirit, my name is Ibar from the prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who taught us the truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And real quick, this is going to be an appreciation post, appreciation video for, you know, you sincere, uh, hopeful elect women out there that are uh, doing your duty as a wife, okay, and taking care of your man. Also, for you men to um, understand that you need to get your house in order, man. All right, get your house in order, which first and foremost starts with you coming into the scriptures, reading these scriptures, um, digesting this word, applying these scriptures and, um, you know, teaching it to, you know, your, your household. OK, it's going to be you that have to teach your, your wife. Your wife shouldn't be going to no church. She shouldn't be going to another man to learn about the Bible. You should be teaching your wife and then she should be teaching the children. OK, it goes down. OK, and um, which the scriptures go into that too, Lord, I can grab that. But I'll start off with this right here. It says Ecclesiasticus or Sirach. Chapter 26, verse 13, the grace of a wife delighteth her husband and her discretion will fatten his bones. Right. And um, what made me do think about doing this video was, you know, I'll be I, right now. I'm at my, my job, the plantation or whatever. And, um, you know, every day when, when I go to open up my lunch and, and my breakfast or whatever to, to eat, to eat or something, um, you know, my coworker, he runs over to, to my table. You know, he, uh, you know, what you got, what you got? Licking his lips and rubbing his stomach and shit. I'm like, nigga, this is for me. This is for me. But this man is traditionally married, okay? He is traditionally married, which I, which, which last I heard, he was going through a divorce. Supposedly they made up or whatever. Um, he'd be on the phone talking to his woman and shit. But um, I, I kind of, you know, looked at his ass crazy. And, 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 and he's an older Jake, you know, but he talked, he talked shit about, um, you know, not being traditionally married or not. I'm, I'm not gonna say traditional. I'm saying modern, modernly married through Esau's system. Talking about all oh, that shacking up and stuff. But then Jake was over there eating a band bag of chips, man. Okay, a, a bag of Frito Lay's. And I'm like, brother, wait a minute. You talk all this shit about being married and this, that, and the third. But your woman ain't making you no fucking food. Your you, your woman ain't making you no food. Like, what's what's going on, bro? You supposed to have a plate of food right here, you know? And I, you know, I was kind of you know messing with Jake, but then I started thinking about it. Like, goddamn, you know. Get your house in order, you know, get your house in order, man. What the hell you got? You got a, a woman for if you got to wash your own clothes and clean, you know, clean your own house and cook your own food, man. You know, that shit is off. And you women, you were created for the man. OK, you women, you were created for the man, not the other way around. So it says, verse 14, a silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. If your woman always nagging, cussing you out. You got men that's getting their ass beat up by these women, bro. You woman swinging on you, you know, getting all in your face, you know, and as men. Hey, how can you uh, 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 come out here in the war? And, you know, and it's a part of the curses as well. But to a certain degree, you 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 you, you have to be a man and stand up and say and say what and say what's right and what and, and what's wrong. You know, which a lot of men are afraid, afraid to do that because they're afraid to lose their woman. And I'm, I'm not telling you to go in there and uh, I'm not telling any of you brothers to go in there and, you know, tell, tell your woman some 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 some, some shit that, that, you know, is, is going to, you know, get you divorced or, you know, get you put on child support. You know, um, these are things that's supposed to be done before you end up in them situations or before you end up with the woman. You know, you got to set certain boundaries and standards as a man. All right. It says a silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. So you have a silent and loving woman. You know, she's taking care of you. Make sure, make, make, make sure you fed, you know, home cooked meals. Not, not no fucking 
oodles and noodles. And, you know, not no damn, uh, uh, you know, and he, I told Jake, too, and he said, I got money. I got money. I'm like, so you got to spend all your money on food when you should be already having, you know, food made, you know, which that which really that's the traditional wife. OK, a woman that knows how to take care of the household and you woman that, that that's doing that's doing your job and you doing this a hey, more power to you, man. OK, may you hold me I bless you and, 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 and your families. It says, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. So you have to instruct your woman, your wife. OK, her, her, her mind must be she must be well instructed. OK, you have to put these women in order. OK, and first and foremost, you must be in order. You out of order. Your woman going to be out of order. Scripture says a wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man. All right, so if you got a wicked woman, bitch, a total demon, it's because you, more like that, it's because your ass a demon, man. You know, it says a shame faced and faithful woman is a double grace and her continent mind cannot be valued. Right. So it's nothing like, you know, a woman that that's in order, you know, uh, who, who whose mind is well instructed. And a lot of times these men, they, they, they don't want to co co correct or or, you know, put put a woman in their place. Because, um, because they're afraid that a woman may leave or they're afraid of her, you know, getting with somebody else. They, they, they hate the thought of her being, you know, being with another man. And if you got to think about that, then that's not your woman, brother. <laughs> okay. Ecclesiastes chapter, or, or Sirach, chapter 36, verse 24. He that getteth a wife beginneth a possession. That's your property. Okay. That's your property. All right, and, and, and in this new new age society, they think, oh, that's that you can't you can't say that. No, that's this is the scriptures. All right, let the Bible speak. If a man getteth a wife, you beginneth a possession, which wife just means woman. That's your woman, that's your possession. Okay, she belongs to you. Okay, if, if, if I got my, 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 my car, my vehicle, that's my possession. I can do what I want with it. I I I I can put whatever tires I want with it. I I I I, I can paint it whatever color I want to paint it. And when I go to crank that motherfucker up, it better crank up. <laughs> okay, well, we got a problem. Okay, not not you know, it's just an example. A woman's oh, well, you you compare me to a car? It says a a help like unto himself, and a pillar of rest. So you you woman's supposed to be a help un, like unto himself, and a pillar of rest. Like you know when, when I, for instance you know when I first got with when, when, when my my woman. She will make me food, but she will make it, you know, how she was used to make it. I said, no, 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 make it how I like it. Okay, you're going to learn how to make it how I like it. You you, you belong to me. You in my house, you you are serving me. Just like, and it's like how we are, as men, we're supposed to serve the Lord. Your woman's supposed to serve you, okay? No, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It says, where no hedge is, there the possession is spoiled. So you woman, if you don't have a hedge, if you don't have a man, you're going to be spoiled. You're going to be destroyed. When all hell break loose, you're going to wish you had a man. That's why Isaiah 4 and 1 says, um... Said women shall take hold of one man, saying we eat our own bread and wear our own wear, wear our own clothes, you know, uh, or, or or wear our own apparel. So you you gonna realize you need a man. It's like I'm just talking fast because I gotta get back to work soon, and I got a lot to say in, in a short amount of time. So, um, it says he that hath no wife will wander up and down mourning. So you got men that don't have a wife and they wander up and down mourning, you know, because they gotta do everything. And, and and I know how to cook, you know, I, I I know how to wash my own clothes. I did that for a long time. But once I got a wife, a, 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 a woman, hey, that, that, that that's her job now. And and mom and I'm grateful and thankful for you all about Shaw because my woman, she loves to do that. You know, she loves to do things for me. She 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 loves to make my life easier and be a help unto me, which is what, what her job is. Same same with us. How we supposed to be for our woman? I mean, it's like you as as the woman of the Lord, we supposed to do that for the Lord, man. You know, do everything we can to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so let, let's go here. Um, because this society got all got all things all twisted, making you think that um, you know that 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 you know you you wrong for for demanding certain things out of your woman. It says, um, First Corinthians chapter eleven verse three. But I would have you know, Shalom, Salakia, uh, the phone. Whatever reason I was, I was just doing the video, and half the video, the audio went out. So through Spirit Hall Bashmi Al Shah, I'm gonna come back and finish up, grabbing those scriptures, and I'm gonna grab some more. Now I ain't gotta rush so much; I got a little more time. Um, but this is gonna be the second second half of the video, and obviously it's gonna be all all in one video. So let's grab it. It says, um, First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse uh. Let's go to First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse. Of uh, three, all right, and this is um, you know what I was reading before the video cut out. What I started reading before the video cut out. So what we'll, we'll, we'll start off back right here, 
and going back into the topic of the woman okay and like um you know if you get a woman your woman's supposed to add to your enterprise not you adding to her enterprise okay your woman's at, supposed to add to you and not take away you know she's supposed to bring value to you you know like i said add to your enterprise so first corinthians chapter 11 verse 3 it says but i will have you know that the head of every man is yahweh shy and the head of the woman is the man and the head of yahweh shy is the most high so there's an order in this thing okay the head of the woman is the man so you supposed to be the head of your woman not not your woman be the head of you and that's what happens in the society nowadays a lot of times you know in, in these modern households the woman is ruling the household okay the woman is ruling over the man she's ruling the household all right which is completely off you know and, and it's, it's only going to lead a house to total ruin you know eventually you know and this is why we have these scriptures the scriptures are um you know a lot of scriptures talk about women you know the scriptures have a lot to say about women not and honestly not not a lot not a lot of not, uh, nice things but these scriptures were written for our learning so a part of understanding this truth is knowing how to deal with women you know un understanding women you know all this is very um a very important part of coming into this knowledge man okay there's a reason why these scriptures talk about it over and over again about women because as men we're gonna have we're gonna have to deal with, deal with uh with women all right we're gonna have to deal with deal with women uh let me grab this it says first corinthians chapter 11 same chapter yeah same chapter i just go ahead and go down a little bit verse 8 it says um for the man is not of the woman but the woman of the man neither was the man created for the woman but the woman for the man in this society they'll lead you to believe that oh yeah you was created for this woman but really the woman that woman was created for you you know um eve came out of adam's rib okay so th 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 there is an order in the household and this is why you know you come coming to this truth you have to understand that there is order okay th th there has to be uh, a particular order established and it starts with within yourself and within your own household before you can go out to the streets and try to command men you must first you know be right you know and, ha and have your, your your house you know right you know let me go here it says uh uh well, well let me grab this real quick because there's a balance in this too man there's, there's a ba balance in this too you don't want to just be, you know, a total monster to, to your woman and your children, you know, but 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 you but but it's your job. It was it was our job as men to be disciplined, um, disciplinaries in our household, you know, to be the structure, you know, to, to be the. Um, to oh, let me grab this to, to you know, but but, you know, to, 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 to bring order to our household so that, you know, everything can function properly the way it's supposed to. And that makes it where, where, where you can go out in the world and function properly the way, the way you're supposed to. All right. Especially when it comes to serving Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So it says, um, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter uh, 25, verse 16. It says, I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. And if you got a wicked woman in your house, man, that shit will, uh, you know, it, 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 it'll start tearing you, you, you uh, down. You know, it'll start tearing you down. All right. And this is why Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai um you know you know gives us this understanding of how to you know deal with you know particular situations in our life that, that that's what is bible is a way of life ecclesiastical sarat or sarat chapter 4 verse um mm, i start at verse 27 i'll just you know, all, all this is good it says make not thyself an underling to a foolish man neither accept the person of the mighty Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Be not hasty in thy tongue, and in thy deeds slack and remiss. Right, so you can't be hasty. It says, be not as a lion in thy house, nor frantic among thy servants. Right, so you can't be a lion in your house, man. You know, you don't want to just be, you know, constantly roaring at your woman. You know, and I honestly, I tell myself too, you know, I tell him, I tell him, anyone I ever dealt with, I told him, you know, you don't put your hands on me because I don't put my hands on you. All right, I ain't gonna put my hands on you. And if I got feel like I gotta put my hands on you, then I'm 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 I'm, I'm not going to be with you because at the end of the day, you you know this system, man. They they call Esau, and and and, and you might have just jumped at her ass, and she flinched, and she called Esau, and you know now you're going to prison or uh, jail for domestic te for dom <laughs> domestic violence, man. DV and a lot, there's a lot of men in jail behind DV charges, man, for women that they you know been taking care of, you know all this time all right 
Um, so from there, let's go to um, let's go to let's go yeah 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 let's go here. And I heard a brother bring this out recently, and I haven't read, read went to the scripture in a while. Okay, but it's very important that we understand this as well. Okay, because if you come into this truth, the Lord is making you a leader. Okay, He's making you a leader. So a lot comes with that. It says First uh, Timothy chapter three verse one. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, which means the head of a church, you know, or um, a congregation, you know, which really we all are becoming leaders, you know. So our, our main focus should be on the ministry. It says he desireth a good work. A bishop then must be blameless. The husband of one wife, meaning you ain't got time to be having 20 women because you need to be focused on, on the work of the Lord. But also, too, you damn sure shall, shall be dealing with another man's woman. OK, it says vigilant sober of good behavior not uh given to hospitality apt to teach so you got to be apt to teach man you see it says given to hospitality you know you know looking out for the body making sure that 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 that, that, that everything is going the way it's supposed to making sure that that, that brothers it, it, it is good you know to a certain degree it says not given to wine no striker not greedy of filthy lucre but patient not a brawler but uh, it's like and not covetous one that ruleth well, it is the point, one that ruleth well his own house. You see? So you got to have your house in order. And that's why I told Jake, you got to have your house in order. He got this, you know, I know I know the Jake, so, so you know, we, we kind of go back and forth. He tell me shit, I'll tell him shit or whatever. But Jake got his woman riding around on a damn BMW, and she ain't even making you no damn food. She ain't even, she, 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 she can't even cook for you when you come in here. And I remember when I, before I had a woman, I had, I had to cook for my damn self, and that shit was a hassle. You know, you, you go home, you're tired, you're going to fall asleep, forget and eventually you're in a bond of just buying a bunch of junk food, which is what Jake do. Going to the gas and getting hot dogs and, uh, you know, uh, you know, those little fucking, you know, taco things or whatever. To hell with that, man. No man should have to do that if you got a woman, you know. And I'll, 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 what made me say this, too, because, you know, Jake be playing and whatever. You go back and forth, talk, you know, talking shit to each other. And I said, how the, you know, how the fuck is you acting tough? And you ain't even, you, 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 you know, you, you ain't even got your damn house in order, man. How the hell is you act like a damn uh, a he-man, you know, in these streets? <laughs> but at the house, you 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 a damn you know a damn a damn lap cat, you know a, a little kitten. It says one that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. So you got your children in subjection, you know, and, and and your children is watching you, you know, your 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 children is learning from 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 you, you know, you are you you are the, their first example. So they seeing how things are supposed to be done in the household. If the household is out of order, then everybody's going to be out of order. If you out of order, your whole house is going to be out of order. It says, and these are things that, you know, people may not see. Nobody knows what's going on in your house, but you know what's going on in your house. So this is particularly for you younger brothers. Hey, get your house in order. All right. It says, especially in the times you're coming into, man, because when, when all hell break loose, you ain't got time to be arguing with your damn woman, you know, or going back and forth with her about the MOTB. Not going to go take it. Is she going to go take take your whole family? Go take it. Now you, you know, getting tempted to go take it. Hell no, nah, man. Make sure make sure y'all on the same page. You know, transparency is important. It says, for if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of the Most High? Right. So if you don't know how to take, if you don't know how to rule over your own house. If you don't know how to deal with your own house and your own woman, your own children, how the hell are you gonna deal with full grown men? Okay, how, how the hell are you going to lead over the church? How are you going to go out to the camp and deal with people that's passing by, people that's asking questions? You know, it says, now the novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. Okay, Jake, think, and then they, they learn a few scriptures, now they think that they, you know, uh, and they get proud. You know, you start, you know, reaching, you know, you start wanting things that don't pertain to you. It says, moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into reproach and in a snare of the devil. Right. You got to have a good report of them that with, are without. You got, you know, even I always say too, you got people in the world. People in the world should look at you and, and, and they should have nothing but good things to say about you, you know, um, you know, in your in, in your life, in your mannerisms, in your character, and the way you treat people, you know. And, and, and that's going to take some some, some, some self-development. That's what this truth is about as well. All right. Let me grab this real quick. Because the world we live in now, uh, you know, it's completely out of order. It says Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, which are these Edomites. They came out of us and, and now they're over us. 
it says, and women rule over them. So women rule rule over um, our people. You know, you men. <laughs> a lot of, you go to any, any modern household, the women wearing the pants, man. You know, figuratively and literally. Okay. Oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. Right. So you fall behind a woman, bro. She gonna get your ass destroyed. You know, that's why you, gotta, you also got to be careful who you deal with. Okay, scripture says, give not thyself to a light woman, a woman that don't want no understanding. She really don't, don't want no part of the truth. She, she, she really just want, just, just want to be a thought and a harlot. That's going to bring you, you know, great shame and destruction in the end, man. Okay. So, so something to think about. Let's grab this. This happens too. A lot of times men start cucking and sipping behind a woman. You know, the house ain't in order. So, so really the woman ruled the damn house. All right, and they end up losing their damn minds. You end up losing your mind. Let's grab that. It says Second Ezra chapter. And it, yep, this is beautiful. This is this is it right here. Uh, First Ezra chapter four verse twenty two. By this also ye must know that women have dominion over you, and this is what's going on in our in our communities, bro. And and, and even Esau Esau household all over TV you seeing the man is the big you know idiot. In the house and the woman is the smart one that's really calling the shots absolutely fucking not okay <laughs> absolutely fucking not the, as a man we are the guidance of the household we, we, we're supposed to guide the household and the family and the woman you know so it says by this also you know that women have dominion over you and anyone anyone supposed to have no damn dominion over you oh okay no 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 power over you it says, do ye not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman? Yeah, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal and to sail upon the sea and upon rivers. And you got a lot of jakes that's in prison behind this, bro. I'm, 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 I'm going to keep reading, but you got a lot of jakes that's in prison behind trying to look flashy or trying to stunt for some bitches. OK, for, 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 for a frosty as woman. OK, they don't want your ass anyways. Oh, as soon as you get locked up, she's going to be with another man anyways, you know. You, you don't do that shit. You know, Jake be out here trying to maintain an image, you know, just for just just, just for the please the eyes of a woman. Hey, these, these women will leave your ass for any reason, bro. OK. It says that's why, like I said, it's good to be transparent, you know, keep keep it real. And a woman's supposed to add to you, not take away from you. You know, somebody they, they call in the world called gold diggers. And the pastor Harvest is going into it about um about diner hoes or dinner hoes. A woman that, you know, just tell you she want to go on a date with you just so she can eat, you know, and she don't plan on eat. She don't plan on giving you nothing or even dealing with you, but she just won't want, want, want your money. You see. Why do you think these celebrities can never find like I saw I was watching a video the other day about Drake. Rihanna made a post about because he dissed Rihanna, you know, and she made a post about his ass saying all my exes are miserable and not in happy relationships. Roughly paraphrasing like what, 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 what she said. And this guy Drake, he had this nigga had a necklace made out of all the engagement rings that he wanted to give women that he that he was he wasn't able to give them. Nigga, how many women you try you try to marry that many fucking women? Where you make you made a necklace out of it? That's fucking on a uh, past the line simping. Okay, not borderline, past the line simping. Okay, and that 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 that, that should have destroyed you, bro. You know that's not good for 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 your spirit. So you can't be out here just you know g g you know giving your uh, scripture says, give not thy strength unto a woman. It says, and looketh upon a lion and goeth in the darkness. And when he have stolen, spoiled, and robbed, he bringeth it to his love. Wherefore, a man loveth his wife better than father and mother. And I know men that get with a woman and they'll disrespect everybody to fuck around them. Okay. And now all of a sudden your mom and your dad don't exist no more. You know, your, 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 your friends is fuck them. You know, all all cook all cook. And that's, that's what, what what he said. Um, in the word they tell you that. You know, oh yeah, he 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 pee whipped, he pee whipped. Okay, you get a little a, a, a little bit of the pool nanny, and lose your mind, head over heels, and love all giggity and laughing. And, <laughs> nigga, what the fuck is you doing? And women see that shit, bro. Women see that shit. They they, they identify it. And one thing that they don't like it, and they go and eventually end up leaving, drying you up, and leaving you for a man that's gonna put them in their place. Okay, when women love you, put in their place. It says, yeah, many there be that run out their wits for women, lose your mind behind a woman, and become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished and erred and sinned for women. So you don't became a servant for this woman's sake, 
you know instead, instead of you making her food she's making you food and i i, I done seen that shit too i done seen w- 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 these women these modern women they'll ask you you know how to cook first thing they ask you is you know how to cook bitch do you know how to cook why, why are you asking me if i know how to cook do, do, do you know how to fight do you know how to defend off a a a, a damn a, a damn burglar Okay, because if you want to change the, the roles, you know, that's what they want to do. They, they really want to emasculate you, you know, in this modern society. That's what they, 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 they will emasculate you. And if you allow it, they got you. All right. That's the point, though, man. I ain't going to make it too long. I got to get back to work anyways. But um, I pray this has been edifying to the whole for Shalom, Kwame Shirala, Ababa Ball. And uh, yeah, on to the next one, man. Shalom.